Fantastic Hal does a great job of allowing you to add invitees to events. So let's say I've got this event. I'm going to call it a Star Wars Film Festival at Skywalker Ranch because someday I want to get there. And I'm going to say with David Spark. Now I'm using my name because I don't want to put somebody else's email on the internet. And I'm going to say it's on May 4. So it's created this event and you can see that because it's got these dotted lines around my name, I can be an invitee. If I click on the arrow key, it can add me as an invitee just like that. I could also just tap on here and type someone's email address if I want. And it's got that question mark here. And the question mark means that the invite is prepared, but I, the recipient hasn't accepted it yet. And just because I can't help myself, I'll add a note. Now, once I've got the event created, I can go ahead and click add event. And Fantastic Hal will go ahead and send out the calendar invite to the people I've listed on the invitee list. I can go to May the 4th and see the event on my list. And if I double tap it, you can see that there's still a question mark next to my name. If I go look at it in the main window, which I'm going to activate with Command-0, and go to May 4th, and once again you can see there's that question mark next to my name on the event. Now I'm going to go to my iPad on my David at Max Sparky account and accept the invite and you can see what will happen right here in Fantastic Al as soon as I accept the invite. And once I acknowledge that I've accepted it, it sends it up to iCloud and it updates the information and that quickly Fantastic Al can confirm that I've accepted the invite. That would also work if I marked it as declined or maybe it just it just works you don't have to worry about it so as you can see invitees and fantastical are no problem head over to flexibits.com to learn more about fantastical too